Happy Labor Day. Welcome back to Wonderful Stays Home Tour. I'm Hong. And I'm Brian. And this is Residence 2 of the Meritage Homes in San Leandro. It is a 1,773 square foot home with four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a three-story home with a two-car garage. And it's priced at $797,000. If you're into real estate or you have plans to move to the Bay Area, come with us on this tour and maybe you'll like what you see. Let's go. Whoa, this is much better. Yeah, look at the patio size. And upstairs. Look at that. Uh, wait, where did Brian go? Oh, hello. <laughs> This is really spacious. Wow. A lot more spacious. Yeah, you can really do stuff with this. A lot of mini gardening, huh? That's pretty cool. Oh, big glass door. Pretty nice. Ooh, look at the wood. Pretty nice. Okay. Bedroom downstairs looks like it's pretty standard for this place, huh? Yeah, with um, standard size garage or right, closet. <laughs> Let's check out your view here. I like that they have those um, plant things that make gives you some privacy, huh? Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. Natural. And it provides oxygen. Pretty nice. Let's check out the restroom. This restroom is pretty nice. Like the top, uh, the vinyl down here. It's pretty nice. That's cool. Yeah, it's long versus square, right? or oh, rectangle versus square, like the other one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I like this window or this um opening to your door. Can be a good thing. Oh wow. Look at that. That's a cool interior design idea. Wow, the carpet is like pretty thick. Seems pretty cool. Then it goes up. Here's the other two model. Whoa, okay, this is, I like this layout more. It's different. Yeah. This is 1,700 square feet. It doesn't feel that small. Oh. <clears throat> I guess you're losing that 200 to your your patio and your, your balcony, right? Probably. I like this mirror idea. Buy six of them, or nine in some cases. The island is pretty big. Still go to your house. Yeah. Whoa. No way. No way. You still do that to your house? Hey, can you? No, it doesn't <laughs> go all the way. But that's actually a pretty cool idea, right? If you can actually. Yeah. If they, they extended it all the way, that would have been cool. Electrical bridges here. Yeah. My, my bad. Thank you. Nice. It's interesting, huh? How they have light gray and kind of dark gray flooring. Uh oh, I think they're the same. 
You don't like this, huh? Uh, it's okay. Second. Oh, whoa, green. This is home. <laughs> nice square windows, too. Yeah, you do need a sack to bring it up and downstairs, huh? Interesting. This could be your Wi Fi area, too. Mm. This is nice. The kitchen at the corner seems like a better idea, huh? Yeah. And it opens up to this big space. But, um... Yeah, they're not. Yeah, this is a nice view. So the ones that are going there is gonna come up in March, they said. So you can get a house here, you should get it probably over there, huh? Yeah. This is called Posh. <laughs> okay. Nice. You can fit a square or a rectangle table here. And it'll still look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Nice TV. Shall we go out? <clears throat> I really like this win this uh, window thing for this glass door. I think the house is pretty equivalent except for you have a bigger balcony and patio. Oops, sorry. Nice interior design. I like that carpet. You can feel like the crunch as you step on it. Okay. Interesting. Let's check out the master. Enjoy a spacious and relaxing space of your own. Hmm. It is pretty. Whoa. Look at this clock. <laughs> this is a pretty cool clock. Three mirrors. The accented colors are pretty cool. View from your master. Master closet. This one has no windows. But it's still, it's not as spacious as the other one. Looks like a five by five, but it's still pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Oh, okay. Is it bigger? Yeah, a little bit. It's different. Yeah. Here's your toilet. And here's your shower. His and hers are. Pretty nice. This looks pretty clean. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I got it. This looks pretty clean until it gets dirty. Alright. Yeah, this one's gonna be. That's what I thought. Yeah, so when you, you open this, yeah, you have to be careful. I'm gonna break the glass one day. Yeah. A little gap in between. No problem, it's not too, too bad. No. Huh, this is interesting. But your door is going to open up to this, so you won't have this here. Unless you close the door. Yeah. 
All right, let's check out the other restroom. I like the green on top. That's actually pretty cool. White and green. You know, to paint a straight line is actually kind of hard. Especially with the, the style, the orange peel style. Of um, the wall itself. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is crazy cool. Like a, a circus? Kind of, huh? Like a tent? Weird. Yeah, interesting style choice. Uh, they, whoever designed this really liked this um, sliding door thing, huh? <laughs> it is kind of cool. It's like a barn, right? Right. Standard closet. They have this um, uh, grill, I guess you call it? Vent. Up, vent up here. It's just to circulate air better between rooms and doors. And hallways, I guess, in this case. Oh, a better view. Is that San Francisco? That's San Francisco. You barely see it. Wow. If you have a house here, you can barely see San Francisco each day. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. That's really nice. Wow. Bright pink skin and green leaves resemble the body of a book time with Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Please read to us, Brian. By Hugh Von Lee. Oh, my cousin. <laughs> this is a pretty nice room, though. It's cool. I this... feel like this is more of a starter home. Yeah, these are. With a view of San Francisco from far away. This is pretty interesting style design color choice, right? Teal? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's check this room out. <laughs> so this is more of a mine what you have learned, save you it can. I probably should read that faster. <laughs> Mind what you have learned, save you a can. Yeah. Yoda. This is a pretty cool style. It's like a um, band, right? My iPad's not working. It's not working? Here, let me fix it for you. Is it plugged in, sir? I Always. Used to, I used to do IT. <laughs> or I guess we're still in IT, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Ryan. Pew pew pew. Oh, that's pretty cool pillow. A pew 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 pew. Nice. This is a pretty cool room. Mm -hmm. I like how they, they divided the two colors. It looks pretty straight though. <laughs> Whoever did it, did a pretty good job. Yeah. So Hong, now that we've taken a tour of this home, what do you think? Even though this house is 1,700 square feet, it's, it doesn't feel that small. Like if you guys go on the second floor, you can see that they put a really big couch in the corner of the house. Some of the houses we've been to before, we have to be really selective on the size of the couch, but living space was able to accommodate this really big couch. Even when we look at the restroom on the first floor, the restroom itself is really big, right? It's a rectangle in shape instead of square, which gives it a lot of room to walk around in and doesn't feel as cramped. Well, one of the things we kind of hope you guys benefit from from watching our videos is that the interior design ideas that we see in the model homes. Like you guys see when we first walk up to the second floor, we see the six mirrors that they have along the walls. That's a pretty nice idea that they have. To the barn door that they put onto the kitchen area. It gives it a lot of character and the colors they use to paint the walls. It looks really nice, especially the circus room for one of the kids. That's a really cool design idea on the on the ceiling that, you know, we can copy for our own homes. What do you think about Residence 2, Brian? I like the kitchen area. The island itself 
could seat up to four people, which is pretty nice, especially if you have kids and they want to do their homework while you're cooking or they want to help you out. There's always seats for them or it, it could be for breakfast as well. The other thing I like is the deck. It could fit a small barbecue, which is pretty nice. And it could also fit a couple seats outside, which is pretty great when it's a lot cooler. Lastly, I like is the laundry room area. It's not as extravagant as the other ones, but it does have a shelf and some hooks so you could hang some clothes or other important stuff in the laundry room area. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and hit that like button and also hit the notification button as well. So that way you will be alerted when new content has arrived. We will be looking at Residence 4 on Thursday. So we will see you then. Take care.